I was in South Jersey from Saturday to Sunday. Now, South Jersey, man, South Jersey's just different. <laughs> North Jersey's crazy, right? North Jersey's where, like, everybody's located. We have the most extravagant venues ever, right? And you have Philly and New York City, of course, you know? And it's just, North Jersey's just a whole nother ball game. You go to South Jersey, and, like, there's some nice venues, but, like, they just do quirky shit, you know? It's just, it, it's just crazy. It boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. Like, the, the little nuances, little things that South Jersey venues do. So I'm at Bregalius. This is called Bregalius. This is a big-ass new ballroom they just built. Big-ass ballroom, right? Nice as shit. Like, no, like it, it looks like it's out of Philly or something. It's, like, really, really nice. Big 30-foot ceilings, right? They got the built-in uplighting and all that. Big marble dance floor. Of course, you know... First of all, where I set up is stupid. I have to set up literally in between tables, but like not like in between tables, but on the side. Just I'm literally set up to the left side of the entrance for no reason. So like one one stack of my speakers, like on my left side, is literally blasting a table in the face, and then the stack to the right side is kind of aimed at the dance floor. But there's still a 15 foot gap, 20 foot gap between me and the dance floor. Like I don't know why. Like you build a brand new ballroom and you don't think of where the DJ is gonna go. Like you know what I mean? Anyway. That's not even what I'm trying to bitch about today. You're not going to believe what these people did at this venue, okay? And for this reason, and I'm calling them out, Bergalia, Sicklerville, New Jersey, okay? Anybody from there watching this video, I, you, you, you can't do this, okay? You're on my venue shit list, by the way, all right? I have a notepad. I've talked about it in, a, uh, you know, in shows before. You know, I keep a note, like an Apple note or whatever on my phone, a venue shit list. And it's just like, you know, every venue, that's on my shit list and why, you know? And there's certain things. That way, when I meet with a couple that's going to be at that venue, I can warn them ahead of time. I can let them know, hey, listen, da 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 you know, whether it's set up, whether it's whatever it is, right? I can warn them and hopefully prevent some shit uh, from happening in the future that can greatly affect their wedding. You know what these people did? Okay. Every single time, every single time, which was only twice, thank God, but both times that somebody was on the dance floor and they dropped the glass, okay? So we're dancing, the party's going, life is great, okay? And someone drops a glass and it breaks on that marble floor because it's got like that, it's a whole marble dance floor, right? They turned the lights on. They turned the lights on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not kidding. I I'm saying glass broke, they literally turned the lights on. All of them, like it's 2 a.m. at a club. All of them, they turned the lights on. I'm in the middle of dancing these people and they turn the lights on. Like they literally turn the lights on as I was dancing these people. Twice, two times they turned the lights on. While I was dancing these people. This is so bad in so many ways. I don't have to explain it to you guys, but I'm going to anyway, okay? You turn, if you're drunk and you're dancing, you're having a good time at a wedding, and I'm talking the wedding, the lights were dark, okay? They, that's another thing. So they had their own built-in up lights. They had all the lights off. All the lights at the venue were off except for the up lights. So we're glowing blue, glowing pink, glowing whatever color they have. It is super dark in there. So I'm talking huge difference when they turn the lights on, like night and day difference when they turn these lights on. You're drunk, you're having a good time, you're dancing with whoever, maybe you just shot your shot and you're finally dancing with like one like random chick at the wedding or something, maybe maybe you're getting ready to leave but you talked your wife into staying and you're dancing one dance, whatever, whatever the situation is, you're on a dance where you're having a good time and the lights turn out, what are you going to do? It's going to kill your whole buzz, it's going to kill the whole vibe, whatever I pl was playing doesn't matter anymore, whatever I was playing didn't even matter anymore, it's over, it, it, it doesn't matter, I'm screwed. So everybody on that dance floor, stop what they're doing. I lost half of them immediately. Went to get drinks, went to leave, went to, went, to, went to go to the bathroom, whatever. Even if you're sitting at a chair on a table, just chilling, you didn't feel like dancing. Maybe you're not a dancer, okay? You're listening, you're bopping, you're people watching, right? You think it's kind of funny or whatever. Maybe, or maybe you're just zoned out. You're not even paying attention. You hate the music that I'm playing and you're just sitting there kind of getting through it. The lights turn on. What are you going to do? You're going to look at your cell phone. You're going to look at your watch. You're going to figure out what time it is. It's going to be your cue to say, hey, um, hey, uh, honey, you want, you want to leave now? You want to you get going? We, gotta, we should get home now. We got to feed the dogs. 
That's going to be your cue. Like the worst thing you could do while I'm dancing, people, is turn the fucking lights on. It's the worst shit you could ever do. And they did it twice. Twice. And not only did they do it twice, each time they did it, the owner came up and said, oh yeah, make the announcement. No drinks on the dance floor. With the music down. And I made it. You know, I made it. I didn't even give her an attitude. I thought about it, but I didn't. Because it's like, you already fucked me. So, all right. Uh, yeah, no day. And I wanted people to know why the fucking lights were on pr practically. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, all right, well, no, no drinks to the dance floor. Please, no drinks to the dance floor. I made the announcement every time. But it was just insane. And, and I don't have a solution. You know, I don't know. I just know that anytime I have a couple that's going to be at this venue, I have to tell them about this. I have to tell them, like, you know, I, it's probably not going to be hard to explain how bad that is. And, um, you know, maybe they can put up signs saying don't put any drinks on the dance floor. You know, maybe there's certain little preventative things they can do, uh, you know, to uh, make sure this doesn't happen. I mean, I don't know if it was me and I was having my wedding there and I heard that I would go to the venue. I'd be like, listen, either, um, you know, you have to keep these lights off the entire time until the contract ends, right? The contract, the 1230 end time, 1130 end time. These lights have to be off at all times, no matter what. I don't give a shit or else I'm not having my wedding there. I mean, that's what I would do. But, you know, I can't tell a couple to do that. So I'm just going to make it yeah, maybe a sign or maybe uh, use plastic glassware. I, I, I don't know. I don't have a solution, but um, it's. It's just bad. It's just bad. And just make sure you have a venue shit list. You know, when these things happen to you, you're going to forget. A lot of things can run together, especially if you do a lot of weddings a year. Have a list so you know. I just met with a couple yesterday that's getting married at a venue that sets us up between 10 tables. And I told her, I was like, listen, you know, great venue, had a great time there, and I, I'm usually right there, but if I can make one huge suggestion, da da da, and I, and I explain it to her, and she's like, oh, I totally agree. Okay, definitely. We'll definitely have the dance floor there, and she's gonna change the whole floor plan. She's the boss, she's paying it. So now I prevented myself a lot of bullshit by just letting her know in the meeting, listen, just so you know, she didn't even book yet. I was just like, listen, whether you book with me or not, can I give you some huge advice with this venue? I literally said that, you know, whether you book them or not or use another DJ, maybe the other DJ you used hasn't been here. Let me give you some huge advice real quick. And then I, and then I laid it on her, you know, and it's and, and, and worst case, she doesn't book me. I still saved a lot of bullshit from her wedding. You know, I really like I, I believe I, I did a good service. So have that list so you can keep track of it, because some of this shit is just remarkable. Only in South Jersey would they do that. I've never let me know if you guys ever had that happen to you. But like. Oh my God, like turning the lights on, like why, I can't, it's like the, I can't, I can't even fathom that, it ha I can't even get over it, anyway, 